Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary terms and theories. And in this video, we are going to discuss the term anagram. Introduction An anagram derived from the Greek word elnigram, meaning writing back or anew, is a linguistic phenomenon where the letters of a word or phrase are rearranged to form a new word or phrase. This playful and creative process has fascinated linguists, writers, and puzzle enthusiasts for centuries. Anagrams are not only a common feature in crosswords and word games, but also hold literary and symbolic significance in various texts. Definition and Basic Concept An anagram involves transposing the letters of a given word or phrase to create a new one. The challenge lies in maintaining the original letters while arranging them in a different order to produce meaningful or sometimes cryptic results. For instance, the word silent can be rearranged to form the word listen, both of which are related in meaning, making the anagram particularly clever and insightful. Another classic example is the transformation of the word evil into vile. Historical Usage of Anagrams Anagrams have been used historically in literature, religious texts and puzzles. One of the most famous literary examples is Samuel Butler's novel Air Vaughan, which is an anagram of nowhere. This clever use of an anagram hints at the fictional nature of the place described in the book, playing with the idea of utopia and dystopia. The use of anagrams in literature often serves to add layers of meaning, symbolism or mystery to a text. Anagrams in Crosswords and Puzzles Anagrams are a staple in crossword puzzles and other word games. They challenge the solver to think creatively and flexibly, requiring both linguistic skill and literal thinking. Crossword clues that involve anagrams often signal this with indicators like rearranged, confused or shuffled. For example, a crossword clue might be confused tone produces something sweet, leading to the answer lemon, which is an anagram of melon. The Literary and Symbolic Role of Anagrams In literature, anagrams can be used to conceal hidden meanings or create symbolic connections between words. Writers might use anagrams to encode messages and humor or introduce irony. The use of anagrams can also evoke a sense of playfulness or intellectual engagement in the reader inviting them to participate in the unraveling of hidden meanings. For example, in Umberto Eco's novel The Name of the Rose, the name of the protagonist William Baskerville can be seen as an anagrammatic reference to Sherlock Holmes via the connection to The Hound of Baskervilles, highlighting the detective nature of the character. This subtle use of anagrams adds a layer of intertextuality and enriches the reading experience. Famous Examples of Anagrams Several well-known anagrams have found their place in popular culture and literature. Aside from Butler's Air Vaughan, another famous example is Clint Eastwood, which can be rearranged to spell Old West Action. This anagram cleverly reflects the iconic actor's association with Western films. In political contexts, anagrams have been used humorously or sterically to comment on public figures or events. For instance, President Ronald Wilson Reagan can be rearranged to spell insane Anglo warlord, reflecting a critical view of his presidency. Creating anagrams Creating anagrams is both an art and a science. It requires not just a command of language but also a creative mindset to see the potential in a seemingly random assortment of letters. Tools and algorithms can assist in generating anagrams 
but the most impactful ones often arise from a deep understanding of the words' meanings and connotations. Conclusion Anagrams are more than just a word play. They represent a unique intersection of language, creativity and meaning. Whether used in literature to add depth and symbolism, in puzzles to challenge and entertain, or in popular culture to amuse and comment, anagrams continue to captivate our imaginations. The ability to write back or anew by rearranging letters into new forms exemplifies the infinite possibilities of language and the enduring appeal of linguistic creativity. So this was the discussion on the term anagram. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, goodbye and thank you.